getting pretty close to the end of the popper reviews that I have left to do. Looking at my notes here, it looks like I have this one, which is the best popper by Fish Arrow. And then I have one from Yozuri and then another one from Rapala. After that, I think that's all the poppers that I have to do in this series of reviews. This one is relatively small, especially in comparison to something like a Splash It 2 from Don Iovino, which is something that I really enjoy using. You can tell the size comparison when you look at these two lures side by side like this, that the one from Don Iovino, the one on the bottom here, is definitely much more imposing than the one on the top. I tend to like these larger ones a little bit better just because they cast a lot better and they offer a, a much more aggressive pop, meaning that when they pop, I don't have to, I don't have to twitch the rod tip as hard to get that, that popping action, which is something that I really look for in a popper. As far as the specs of this lure, I don't know if they have any other sizes, but it is a small popper and it comes in a length of 55 millimeters and six grams. And I believe six grams is like point two one ounces or something like that. It's a little bit less than a quarter of an ounce. I bought two sizes originally. This one that I'm showing you is called Ghost Gill. The scale pattern there on the side kind of looks like it's painted in pearl. It's, you can't really see it, but there is a little bit of color shifting that's going on as I move it around in the light. Nice three-dimensional holographic eyes, black nickel plated hooks, feather dress trailer hook. Uh, this is not a rattling bait. It is silent, which I like rattling poppers. I think a popper that doesn't rattle is a popper that feels like it's missing something. This other one that I got is called Silver Shad, which is a opaque color. It has some glitter on the top. You can kind of see it there in the, in the light. It's black and it's a foil, it's a foil finish there on the side. It kind of looks like an IU almost. In fact, I had to look back and make sure it wasn't an IU because I almost called it an IU color. And the bottom is just kind of like a opaque white with a little bit of orange dot there right in the center. You can see it's got that cupped mouth as well, which is something that I like. When they're cupped like that, it seems like they just pop a lot better. Now, as far as on the water performance, it actually performed quite well and I was pretty surprised. Casting distance was very respectable for the size of this lure. Everything considered, I mean, this is, I mean, you would expect not to cast as well as something that is two, three times larger than it but it actually casts pretty well because it still has that aerodynamic design and it is tail weighted. You can actually see in this opaque version here where it has that ball bearing seated in the back, but it's not moving around. It's not a rattling lure. The bait sits in the water kind of at an angle there, a little bit more aggressive than some of the ones that I've shown you lately. The water level goes to about right here. So it's a little bit more vertical when it's sitting in the water. Uh, it walks okay. It's obviously not going to walk as well as some of the poppers that are completely seated flat on the surface of the water because this one you got to kind of pop it to get it going. But it does walk pretty well for those of you guys that are interested in walking this lure. And as far as the popping action is concerned, I felt like it was definitely up to par with some of the other ones that I've reviewed in the past, especially for its size. I didn't have to twitch the rod tip that hard to get this thing to... Um, make some noise with that gurgling action. I guess the problem that we're gonna run into with this lure is the fact that Tackle Warehouse doesn't seem to have them in stock and may not be carrying them anymore. I looked on their website and looked at some of their at some of their inventory and it seems like they're still carrying some of the Fish Arrow brand, but they're not carrying any of their hard baits right now, which I find interesting. I don't really know what the deal is with that. I guess we'll have to wait and see, but I think you could still find them out there. At $16.99, it's pretty steep price. I, I think that it has a lot of nice features on it and the paint jobs are really nice and the components on the lure are, are really nice as well. So I think that you're getting what you pay for here, but it's still a little steep and it's small. I, I wish it was just a little bit larger. Something like this size would have been really nice um, because this is, the Splash It 2 is about 16 bucks and this one's about 17 bucks and it's just so much smaller. And I wouldn't find myself picking up this lure over that lure unless they were really just keying in on some small bait fish or some small surface activity from dragonflies or something. I don't know, but um, I still feel like I would get bit with something like this. 
Uh, before I forget to tell you, it doesn't come with a split ring on the front, which is not a big deal to me because I normally take the split rings off of my top order lures in favor of tying a loop knot. If you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna follow me on Instagram and Facebook, I'll leave the links down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do that. That'll give you a direct link to all my new videos that I have coming out. Like I already stated, I think that this is gonna be getting close to wrapping up my popper lure reviews maybe for the summer. What I'm gonna be moving into next, just to kinda of change gears a little bit, I'm gonna start doing some hollow body frog reviews that I had left over. I think I had, as I check my notes here, I have eight topwater hollow body frogs left over to review. So of those eight, I think the next little review I'll do is the imitation legs from Savage Gear. That's something that I really was looking forward to doing a couple years ago and I just never got around to doing it. And uh, I got some interesting feedback for that one for you guys. So stay tuned and thanks for watching guys. Appreciate it.